Great day everyone, it's me again, Teacher Angel Brick, and to welcome to another exciting and fun episode of Quaderno at the Beast. Have fun and enjoy! So what are we going to learn today? First, we're going to define what is erosion. Second, we're going to give ways on how are we going to prevent soil erosion. Oh, the rocks are falling. What do you call this natural phenomenon? Can we prevent them? Mm -hmm. This natural phenomenon is actually called now as erosion. Now, what is erosion? If we say erosion, this is the process wherein rock fragments and soil moves from one place to another. The next question is that, can we prevent soil erosion? The answer is no. Soil erosion is a natural phenomenon in the environment. However, there are ways on how are we going to lessen and prevent its harmful effects both in the landforms and abiotic factors. So what are the different ways on how are we going to control the harmful effects of soil erosion? Again, remember this acronym, CESNAR C. C stands for contour plowing. S, strip cropping. T, terrace. N, natural vegetation. R, rip cropping and C, you have your crop rotation. So let's describe this six ways on how are we going to prevent soil erosion. The first method in controlling now soil erosion, we call this one as contour plowing. Since erosion takes place, this is what do the farmers do? They follow the curves of the mountain. When they follow the curves of the mountain, we call that, uh, this technique as contour plowing. The second method in controlling now soil erosion, we call this one as strip cropping. Now, what is the difference between strip cropping from that of a contour plowing? In a strip cropping, you are actually planting alternately crops in a strip. And in this technique, you are actually controlling the flow of water. Your key term there is alternately. The third method in controlling now soil erosion, you have terracing. Have you ever been to Banawe Rice Terraces? Or do you have a picture of it? That is a good example now of terracing. So what do the farmers do? The farmers are actually building a wide flat rose, wherein it serves as a ridge to control the flow of water. By doing such, they are actually controlling the harmful effect of soil erosion. So another way of controlling soil erosion is through natural vegetation. Natural vegetation actually is considered as the simplest form of controlling soil erosion. But how are we going to do that? We allow trees and plants grow naturally. Therefore, there is the development of root system 
and this root system grips on the soil which allows it to be more stable and it maximizes now the flow of erosion. Another way of controlling soil erosion is through rip ropping. So how do we do rip ropping? It's very simple. By building chunks of rocks or stones, we are building foundation. But actually, it's not only building foundation. It allows us also to control the movement of the soil going down. Where do you usually find the rip rocks? We usually find them along seashores, shorelines, or just below a slope. In this manner, we are actually controlling soil erosion. So the last method in controlling now soil erosion is through crop rotation. So what do we usually do if we are talking about crop rotation? In a crop rotation, it refers to planting crops in a year. So for example, a farmer plant a cabbage for this planting season. Now in the next planting season, he will plant a corn in that the same spot. Now, doing such, the farmer is actually preserving the moisture in the minerals of that soil. Remember that the more the soil is moist, it cannot be carried by a wind easily. So those are the different practices and ways on how are we going to control the harmful effects of soil erosion. So do you have any questions? Very good. Now kindly answer the following questions. That ends our lesson for today. See you again in the next episode of Quaderno at Lapis. If you think that this video is helpful, kindly click, like, watch, and subscribe. Bye!